All right, it's Christmas time, and I haven't released a video in a while. So, good morning, afternoon, or evening. I'm not feeling well. Apologies on the coughing. <clears throat> Without further ado, Thursday night, December 17th, 1941. Ten days after Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. Let's begin. Thursday night. Darling, when I went to mail your letter last night, I asked the CQ, most kiddingly, why he hadn't given me my mail. And he in all seriousness said he thought I was on furlough. And forthwith gave me two letters from you. I wish I'd had them while I was writing you. I even started to on over to the day room and write you another letter, but I was tired. Almost as tired as I am tonight. I rolled out at four this morning. Although we were through with the problem by 12.30 here, there was no cleanup for any of us because of the mud and dirt that was kicked all over the lower side of the buggies. And again, we worked till 9 o'clock at night and from 4 a.m. till 9 p.m. In a pretty long day, I wish I could find some justification for it. Mine not to ask. And though I'm not a soldier by now, I never will be, which might be a sad circumstance in this day. At least we have a new heated shop to work in. Remember the parade ground directory across from the road from my barracks? That is a motor pool now, with shocks for all vehicles and ample shop space for each company's maintenance now. And unless I misunderstood, some night till nine. I know now of which you spoke of Sunday. Glad it la got it last night. Peggy is Bucky, isn't she, darling? You know now I haven't resorted to drinking to drown my feelings. And I am clinging to the hope that I will get home early, long, and I am sincere that in that, and not just trying to fool myself or you. It seems that I am perfectly myself when I admit to only you that it is an almost trivial thing. Compulsivity makes me want to drink myself into forgetfulness. Christmas. Not being able to do as I wanted about the gifts, wanting to accept the Willet's invitation and feeling somewhat doubtful about it. Oh, of course... The old uncertainty of being able to get off. I guess you know better than I can tell you. But I'm sure that I won't. To do any drinking before the 24th, as that I'm Eli, Elis is dead, and I will have a little celebration for our own that night at Eddie's. Their telephone company is giving a party on the 22nd, and we're invited. Probably much like the Pioneers party we once went to at the Mayflower, but I'm looking forward to this one very much. Possibly having gotten over the shock of it, there must have been some shock to it, e though I haven't realized it. Enough to give away either one way or another. Seems now that it was really...